Bozo's on the storm. Bozo's on the storm. <sighs> I can't believe that I have to fill up at 2 in the frickin' morning because of all the paperwork and locomotives that I had to babysit today. But hey, it's whatever. Time to fill up. Shh, see what the prices are today. Uh... Dollar seventy-five. Jeez, these prices are outrageous. What a waste. Yeah. What in the hell? Uh, sup, Joseph. Long time no see. Oh, uh, hey, Richard. Uh, I did not know you owned a van. Uh, when'd you get that? Oh, this? This right here is just my new ride. My old Mercedes van that I call Melly. Yeah, oh, Melly, huh? Well, no offense, Richard, but why is this, why is that thing, like, rusty as hell, just like everything else that you own? Well, Joseph, because I like them dirty, you know? I couldn't afford every damn thing in the world, you know? So I like them dirty and rusty. But hey, old Melly over here, she's a baiter, but she's an old reliable one. She has well over 300,000 miles in her, but she starts first crank. But she sometimes she don't like to stay running though. Tch, Mercedes, piece of crap German engineering over here, huh? But other than that, she's just fine. Yeah, yeah, about that. But why is that thing so damn loud? Like, have you ever considered into getting a muffler or catalytic converter for that thing? Catalytic converter? What's that? Wait, oh, I see what you say. Oh, she didn't come with one. Yeah, she didn't have one when I bought her, you know. But hell, I like to keep her this way because I like them loud. But hell, I like them all dirty and loud, you know. Like, why else would you think I would grab a hot Asian bitch straight from Japan and marry her? <laughs> yeah, your your wife ramen noodles about that. You know what? Forget that I asked. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much information, but you know what else is about much of information? How I got old Melly right here? I stole this fan from some German asshole. He was trespassing on my crib over and over again, and then he kept on touching my favorite prized possession. So, needless to say, I choked him, and I stole his van. He cried. The end. So, wait, 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 back that up. I thought you said that you bought the van. Actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. You are Richard J. Krakens after all, and I know how you are when it comes to stealing things, but yeah, whatever. Forget that I even heard anything. But anyways, all that aside, to ask you the original question I was going to ask you, what are you doing here at this time at night? Are you, did you also come here to fill up too? Because let me warn you real quick that the gas prices here are outrageously expensive tonight. Oh, you came here to fill up too? Well, that's nice. Well, ever since I stole this van, the bastard only left a quarter tank of gas in it. But, hell, this thing's gas mileage is really good, so I don't think I need to fill up. So, in that case, watch this shit. Uh, what? Oh, Jesus, dude. You're shaking the whole place. I think I went deaf. Oh well, they can go cry about it. But anyways, Joseph, it was great seeing you, but I'm gonna go ahead and go home and turn this into a big-ass, rusty camper van. So, take care.